Now my dear friends, we are going to the integrated equation for first order reaction. Now see how exactly it is going to be. It's a derivation basically and that's not going to be so difficult as well. Okay, so the integrated form of the first order reaction. Let us consider a first order reaction and that is A giving you products. Okay, A giving what? Products. Now see how exactly it is going to be. According to the rate law expression, the rate is equal to nothing but it's the negative d concentration of a upon dt given up constant means rate of reactions we have and that can be also given as k into concentration of a okay yeah rate law expression se maine bataya tha okay dono usme right hand side is same okay that is going to be it's the rate of the reaction and therefore we say that minus of d upon dt is equal to k okay so therefore अगर a को यहां पर लेके जाए dt को वहां पर लेके जाए तो हमें क्या मिलेगा माइनस ऑफ डी ए अपॉन ए इज इक्वल टू के डी ओके ऐसे कर सकते हैं हम लोग ओके दिस इज आर दिस ऑल्सो इज आर सो वी हैव इक्वेटेड बोथ ऑफ देम बिकॉज बोथ दी एक्सप्रेशन आर फॉर रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन तो दोनों को इक्वेट किया तो ये मिला ए को इधर लेके आए डी टी को इधर लेके गए तो हमें ये मिला अब माइनस साइन को शिफ्ट करेंगे तो हमें क्या मिलेगा देर फोर डी ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए अपॉन ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ के डी ठीक है अब देखिए दोस्तों तो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन आई विल राइट ऑन एस ए जीरो वेन टाइम इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड आई विल राइट ऑन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एस ए टी वेन द टाइम इज इक्वल टू से टी ओके एनीथिंग विच इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो एट अ पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम तो उसके हिसाब से ना इफ यू ट्राई टू कैरी आउट द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस व्हाट वी गेट इज इंटीग्रेशन विल मेक इट एस दिस इज ए जीरो दिस इज ए टी डी ए अपॉन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ के इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टी एंड दिस इज टी ओके दिस इज द वे वी गेट इट तो इसको जब सॉल्व करेंगे सो वेन यू सॉल्व दिस वॉट यू गेट इज एल एन ओके दैट इज नेचुरल लॉ एटी अपॉन ए जीरो दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ के टी ओके अब मुझे मैं नेगेटिव साइन नहीं चाहिए तो वट आई डू इज ओके आई विल रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टर्म्स तो ए जीरो अपॉन ए टी एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू के टी क्योंकि आपको मालूम है लगातार तुम का रूल है ए अपॉन बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ बी अपॉन ए ओके सो इस हिसाब से मैंने ये नेगेटिव साइन हटा दिया नेक्स्ट थिंग इज टी को मैंने ये बात जो लेके आया सो आई जस्ट कीपिंग की ऑन वन साइड सो वन अपॉन टी एल एन ए जीरो अपॉन ए टी राइट सो देर फोर K will be equal to 2.303 upon T log to the base 10 concentration of A0 upon concentration of AT. Okay, this becomes the integrated form of the first order reaction. All right? Yeah, I'm going to this way. So I guess it is quite clear. I'll once again explain, my dear friends. We consider a first order reaction A giving products. We are not concerned with the products. Okay, मैंने आपको पहले ही बोला है. The rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of the reactant. So therefore, the rate will be given as minus of B upon D D. This is instantaneous. अगर आपको याद है तो minus sign इसलिए because it is reactants. And that is equal to अगर rate law expression consider किया जाए, so that is equal to K, which is the rate constant, into the concentration of the reactant. So that is A. Okay, now we are just uh, turning around the terms. So D upon A is equal to minus of K T. करेंगे और फिर Uh, we have a zero as a concentration at initial time that is zero, and at a particular instant of time that is t, we have the concentration as a t. Integration करेंगे and this is what we get. 
Okay, for negative sign hotanically, we take a reciprocal of that. So we get this. And then what we do is we keep k only on one side because this is an expression for rate constant. So k only on one side. Or for t go over to the k. Or for ln ko amlo, national log amlo, the log to the base 10 convert kiya. So you know that the formula is 2.303. So that is what we get over here. Okay? So this is one particular form. Dousra uh, agar form agar aapko dekhna hai, we can also make it like concentration of AT upon A0 is equal to nothing but E raised to minus of KT. Or we can also make it as concentration of AT is equal to A0 into E raised to minus of KT. Okay, ye hume ek aur expression milega. Okay, with respect to uh, this uh, differential form. Okay, this is one form, this is the other form. Okay, so AT upon A0 is equal to E raised to minus of KT. So therefore AT will be equal to A0 into E raised to minus of KT. Okay, this is on the basis of log E. Alright, so I guess ye derivation aapko achi tarike se samaj me aagaya hooga. Ek bar gawar se dekh lijega. I'm very sure that each and every steps are so simple as that. My dear friends, once we have derived the integrated rate law equation, now there are some more points that I want you to understand very well. So before that, I'll just write down the integrated rate law equation. And that is nothing but k is equal to 2.303 upon d into log of a0 upon a d. Right? This was the integrated rate equation. Now suppose if a is the initial concentration. What do you mean by initial concentration? That means that t is equal to 0. So that means it is nothing but a0. Now let x be the concentration of the reactant that has decreased over the time interval t equal to 0 to say t equal to t. Okay? 0 times a t time tak is interval ke dauran x amount of the reactant decreases. Aapko malum hai ki jab reaction shuru ho jata hai to achhi tarike se yaad hai aapko ki reactant ka concentration kam ho jata hai. So shuruwaat me mere paas kitna tha initial concentration of the reactant a. x amount usme se decrease ho gaya. Matlab it is being converted into what products? It is consumed. So at time t a minus of x will be the concentration of the reactant remaining Chikana. kitna remaining a a minus of x shurwa pe samjho mere paas 20 gram hai ok aur usme se samjho 5 gram convert ho gaya itne time ke dauran to bacha kitna 15 same thing is over here. A is the initial concentration. X amount is uh, decreased in this time interval. So remaining is what? A minus of X. Okay. At time T. And that is nothing but given as A T. So if these values are either substituted or So what we get is K is equal to 2.303 upon T into log of A upon A minus X. So friends, this is what we call is ka form mil gaya, integrated first law, first order reaction okay this is the way we can write down so log of a upon a minus x where a is the initial concentration and a minus of x is the concentration of the reactant remaining at time t understood this okay abhi hum mat karte dosto half time Half time is like radioactivity, Chamber you have half life. That's it. So half time is nothing but, it is the time required for the reactant concentration to decrease to half of its initial value. Half of its initial value. ओके यानी समझो कि इनिशियली मेरे पास है 10 ग्राम्स तो 10 का आधा कितना होता है 5 ग्राम तो 10 ग्राम से 5 ग्राम तक जाने के लिए जितना वक्त लगता है ओके दैट इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड एज व्हाट हाफ टाइम 
Okay, so that, that half of this value is like this. And it's come like if you are going to consider this particular equation. So when t is equal to t half, okay, half time ka ye symbol hai dosto, t half. So when t is equal to t half, ye jo amount which is remaining at this t half will be equal to what? Half of its initial value. Half of its initial value means kya? A0 divided by 2. A0 is the initial value. So half of that initial value will be nothing but AT. Kabhi when T is equal to what? T half. So if this uh, term is equal to substitute kar diya jai, so what we get is K is equal to 2.303 upon T half into log of, okay, uh, A0 will be as it is, divided by A0 divided by 2. So that will be equal to nothing but 2.303 upon t half into log of a0 into now अब ये divide sign है दोस्तों अब मैं इसको मुझे इसको multiplication कर रहा था आपको बाल में numerator becomes denominator and vice versa तो ये ऐसा हो जाएगा okay 2 upon a0 हो जाएगा so a0 and a0 gets cancelled so that will be equal to nothing but 2.303 log of 2 upon t half uh, that is equal to 2.303 into 0 0.3010 because log 2 ka value hai 0 0.3010 and that is to be divided by what? t half so that is equal to 0.693 upon t half ye sab mein kaun sa value milta hai? k ka value milta to us tarikhe se hum kya bolenge therefore t half is equal to 0.693 upon k and therefore hum aisa bolenge ke it is independent of the initial concentration okay initial concentration is given as a0 lekin dekho a0 a0 the idhar cancel ho gaya yani hum kya bolenge ki t half ka ek characteristic property hai and that is wo initial concentration kitna hai uske upar wo aadharit nahi hai hame koi lena dena nahi hai ki initial concentration 10 gram hai ya 20 gram hai ya 50 gram hai ya 100 gram hai hame to sirf itna dekhne ka hai ki kitna waqt lagta hai us initial value ko aadhe tak pahunchne ke liye Okay, if it is 50 grams, how much value it is to get 50 grams? If it is the initial value of 100 grams, how much value it is to get 50 grams? Okay, we have to take that from it. We are not at all related with the initial concentration and that is the reason I have written over here that this, the half time is independent of the initial concentration. Okay, so now we will take a look at the second part of the question. Okay, so now we will take a look at the second part of the question. Okay, so now we will take a look at the second part of the question. Okay, so now we will take a look at the second part of the question. Okay, so now we will take a look at the second part of the question.